Hey subbies, how you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a massive, gigantic, huge try on Primark haul. So as you know last week I did say that I did a shop at Primark. I spent £200 in two trips. Um, just over that actually. Yeah. Um, but as I said in the last video, um, I've tried all this on because I tried them when we got home. All the outfits I've tried on and even they don't fit. I don't like the style, so basically they're all going back. So yes, um, also a quick disclaimer, this video is not filmed, um, like I'd show the outfits and i try it on. So what I'm going to do is I try the outfits on at the end of filming, so and then insert the clip so that I don't, that I'm not in, going backwards and forwards, trying on clothing, putting, um, and then putting my normal clothes back on. So that is why you might see that it's a bit like jumpy or me being saying something different like this is the next outfit you know what I mean so yesterday as I said Primark haul um I've not done Primark haul in ages because I've been to select instead but I went in and they did have a massive summer range in so yes here is oh my god the massive it is full to the brim it's full to the brim guys um so yes let's get on with this haul as I need to take it all back because I would like my money back. Um, so yes, nothing fit. Nothing fit me. So yeah. Also, I'm still getting used to the hair. So don't be surprised if I keep faffing with it. But yes, without further ado, let's get on with this video. Also, yes, I do have like a patch, a patch of spots um, currently under my left eye, right eye, um, which is doing my nutting. But, but. It'll go eventually. I did actually put a face mask on uh, Saturday night. I did actually use a face mask Saturday night. Um, I just haven't done the face mask in ages. I just thought I'm going to treat myself, so I did. And it was quite nice, and it's not really done much. It's supposed to be a blemish and poor bettering mask, if you know what I mean. Right, this is not going to be in a particular order. This is not going to be in a particular order because I did buy stuff. That is not clothing. So there is stuff I'm actually keeping because I bought it for the intention of keeping. But all the clothes are going back. So in the top of the bag we have vacuum bags. I've been wanting vacuum bags. Um, I have blankets in my wardrobe. I have something in my glasses and it's really peeing me off. Um, I've got like a smudge or something and I can see it's doing me head in. I have loads of blankets in my wardrobe and I've got outfits that um, would have been summer. Summer in the UK is non-existent. So I've got blankets and loads of dresses. So I want to vacuum pack them because these blankets and towels are like caught, like make it, taking up this much room in my wardrobe. If I vacuum pack that, I can have so much more room and I don't have to be, I can put my clothes further back. So I went to Primark and they have them. They have the free, free ba vacuum bags, which are £3.50. These are the biggest ones they do. They're 90 centimetres by 7 centimetres. But yes, yeah, so I just got some vacuum bags that take stuff like this to a flat pack. Now I'm pretty damn sure you won't get it that flat. That's just the enthusiast, that's just exaggerating it. But yes, I got some vacuum bags for blankets and towels. Uh, they were 350 because as I said, I want more, I want, uh, there's some blankets I don't even use because it's summer now. So the blankets I don't use now, um, so I want them squeezed shut, squeezed so that I've got more room. I also bought the Primark Home two hanging vacuum bags, which is gonna be for my dresses. Um, as you can fit a lot in them, which is great. Um, it's just so that I've got more room, like my dresses, because obviously it's like it's only so often that we get hot weather in the UK, and I've got loads of dresses that are taking up so much room in my wardrobe. So I'll put them all in here and I can vacuum pack them so that when it comes actually being nice, I can actually open the bag and go, oh wow. But yes, vacuum bags for hanging wardrobes, and these were a fiver. There are fiver for these ones. Oh, these were 135 centimetres by 7 centimetres. But yes, got two packs of vacuum bags. So that's going to be fun to do that. Well, not fun, but you know what I mean. It's going to be satisfying. I got myself some new hair turbans because some of them have gone past their use-by. As in, they've not, it's not mould. It's like they've gone, because obviously I'm putting them, I'm putting them on my hair after having a bath. And it's obviously absorbing all the water, but it's also absorbing like the, uh, the shampoo and conditioner, um, if there's insulin for my hair, 
Um, so they just need to go in the bin. So I got these ones, which are really cute. These are the Daisy ones. Um, 100%, I got two of them. I got two of them. Um, these are 100% cotton hair wrap. Product made using a minimum of 50% cotton from the Primark Cuspendable Cotton Range program. Um, but yes, yeah, these were £3.50 each. It's just a really cute design. I just wanted a different design to the cheap, not cheap, to the pink ones I've got right now. So I've got the Daisy one, which I thought were really cute. So I've got two of them. I never dry my hair. I only dry my hair if I have a nap and I have, um, I only dry my hair if I wash, have a bath in the morning, which always happens when I have a nap the night before. So that's the only time I'll dry my hair. So when I've had a bath on, they were 50 each, which I've already said. When I've had a bath on a night, I just put my hair in hair wrap and then I put my hair in two plaits, which it does actually still plait, but it's like very small plaits. Um, they're very dinky, they come like above my, um, my collar. Um, but yes, yeah, so I put them in the plaits and then in the morning I take my hair down and it's nice and wavy. But now it's gone back to, uh, ow, it's gone back to being the boring straightness it is. But yes, hair wraps are a godsend for that. Right, oh, we do have some accessories. Oh, I totally forgot as well, I've got some shoes. I bought myself um, some uh, room sashes, scented room sashes. I'm going to put these in my wardrobe. Um, one of them was 50p, but I can't remember which one it was. I have the receipts here because as I said, I'm taking them back. Room sachet bright. Ah, this one was 50p, which is a rhubarb and rose. This was 130. I don't, yeah. These ones are 130 each, which is a strawberry shortcake. So I've got two of them, um, cute packaging. Two of them, just to shove my wardrobe, see if it'll refreshen anything up. And then I also got this rhubarb and rose, which is actually 50p from £1.30. So we'll see how they go. Cute packaging, I don't know how I use them, but I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I just hook them on to the hanger and it makes your wardrobe smell lovely. Or anyway, in your bedroom, whatever. Um, I did actually buy some new shoes. I got myself some, bear with me. I bought myself some new slippers because the other slippers had to go in the bin because they got um, spoiled. Um, some raw egg dropped on them whilst I was making scrambled egg. I cleaned up afterwards, don't worry. But they got on like the prop leg, like, got on the slippers. And I never wash shoes because I just have a feeling that they're just going to come out morphed into a different shape. So I binned them and got some new ones, which is, these are actually the ones I wanted. The other ones remind me of grandma. They reminded me of grandma slippers. So I got them. These were £3.50. These were a bargain. Yeah, these were £3.50 because I have the little hanger here. They were £3.50. I can have them in my second bin. I also bought these. Jesus. I also bought two pa two pairs of these for work. So I use these for work. These hold my insoles perfectly. Um, so I do have, I am still wearing my orthopedic insoles. When I don't wear them, my ankle hurts. So it's great. Um, but yes, these are literally the only shoes that hold my insoles. And they're nice and comfortable in the memory foam as well. These have gone up though. These have gone up to nine quid. These used, I swear they used to be six pound. But yes, they're now nine pound. So I've got two pairs of them. And there is some shoes at the bottom of this bag, which I should have really put it in. Um, I should have really put it in accessories first and everything else, then clothing by them. So as I said, it's gonna be a bit to and fro from accessories to um clothing right so on top now i have a clothing item this is actually a outfit i bought the outfit um this is their new range this it says extra small but it isn't this is a size 10 because i didn't have a size 12s um let me just take this off right this is their new clothing range for summer which i love the design oh my god you see through um, I love the design. It's such a gorgeous design. This is a long, flowy skirt. I've not actually tried this outfit on yet. But yes, this is a skirt. It is an elasticated waistband. This was a size 10. 16. 16 quid. Um, size 10 and size 12s. But yes, yeah, it's this gorgeous, flowy skirt. I am loving the design, though. Absolute loving design. Um, but yes, this skirt. But it also goes with the crop top. This like skirt is proper long guys there's the skirt there's not really much i'll say about the skirt i don't actually think it's gonna fit with lengthwise but yes the skirt gorgeous design and then it also come the top that goes to it is this one which is in a size 12 it was a size 12 on the shelf 
Um, as I said, I've not tried this on yet, so it might actually fit. I might like it, but at the same time, this bralette comes up rather high, and I am not comfortable with wearing. How the heck? With wearing stuff that shows so much of my um. It only cover yeah. It only covers your boobs basically. So this is the top. This was a size twelve. Right, it's a bit weird top though, right? So size 12 and it was 12 quid. So it's this gorgeous like bandeau top, but it's elasticated in the back, but then it has these two tie um, pieces of fabric, which are tied behind your back. So I am gonna have so much fun trying to tie this behind my back whilst I'm fitting it on. But yes, it has also got adjustable straps, 12 quid. Um, but yeah, I love, as I said, I love the design. I do think it's only gonna come so far up though. But yes. That is outfit number uno. Um, let's try it on. As I said, I am filming all the try on bit at the end so that while you're watching this, it'll be genius because it'll be like showing this and I'll be having it on. But I am trying on at the end. So, yes, just, I might not. Right, so yeah, yeah, it'll make sense when you're watching the video, but the I'm not even trying them on right now, I'm trying them on in the filming. But yes, that is the top and that is the skirt. So yes, let's try it on. Oh god. This is the last bit of trying on. This is the first outfit of trying on the video, but this is the way I'm filming this, this is the last outfit I've tried on. But the first half of the video if that makes sense. But yeah, this is the first out of the video outfit video. But I've already filmed all that bit, I'm just filming all the try bits in the end. So this is the last outfit of the bag I've tried on. But yeah, I actually like it. I like it so much. Problem is, the top's tight into size 12. When I breathe, it's instantly like tight right here, like around the strap. It's a size 12 is the top and I've managed to like bow it at the back. So it's like the extra piece of fabric here. The, the bowing thing, whatever you call it. And the skirt's a 10, and I've had to put it above my belly button to get it to actually fit in length. But it's actually quite an nice outfit, is this? I, I'm going to return it because how in the heck is this top so tight? I do not get, unless it's because of the extra piece of fabric that's tightening it in, because you get this, if I untighten that, yeah, it is. The piece that's making me feel um, like I can't breathe properly is this bit. But it's actually quite cute, is this? Knowing I got this in a size 10 and it fits, it's actually quite nice. And there's not a chance of it blowing up so you can see the knickerbockers. Um, it's just the top's tight because of that extra piece of fabric. But it's actually quite nice, guys. I actually quite like it. And it covers the whole bra. You see, I'm in two different problems here. Cause it's like, I love this outfit, but am I gonna wear it? Probably not. We're only going to Wales for a week this year because we unfortunately rang up too late. So they're fully booked up, except the one week that we've got. I just don't think I'm gonna wear this at all. But it's a gorgeous outfit. Like if I was going to the, like Dubai, or if I was going somewhere like Tenerife or Somewhere with lovely beaches, I'd wear this. This is something you'd wear like tropically. I just wouldn't wear this in the UK, but it's a gorgeous outfit, like absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving the skirt and I'm loving the top, but unfortunately it's just, I'm not gonna get wear out of it. But it's so nice on, oh, I love it guys. <laughs> I'm so annoyed now that it's the best fit of the video is this like it covers my bra my bra perfectly oh, it's gorgeous but i'm just i'm just not flying off anywhere anywhere soon so not unless i win the lottery then i'll be flying off somewhere but yeah it's just it's just not for wales or for yeadon or for leeds it's just not a not a dress not a outfit for that it's more an outfit for like abroad abroad but it is really, really cute. Oh, so sad. But I get money back. It's always a plus to a downside. So that was outfit number one on. As I said, I've not tried it on yet, so I thought it was like. But yes, I am hoping that actually 
might sit nice. But would I be seeing that in public in this? Probably not, but it's nice to actually go out comfort zone and try stuff on that you have not tried on. So that's outfit number one. So you can see how expensive these are. Yeah, it's gonna get more expensive. Right. They also have the Ranging Kids version. Obviously, I'm not trying this on because this is Lucy's. I bought Lucy the matching dress. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. Why can't they do it for this for like adults? Um, well, actually, they have. This is 10 to 11. This was 10 to 12 years old. This um, was 8 quid. Um, she's not tried it on yet. So we'll see what it looks like. But this is so cute. I think she looks so adorable in it. It's a nice long dress and it's flowy. So we shall see. And if she doesn't like it, I'll take it back. Um, but yeah, I love the design. It's such a nice floral summery design and it's a really good um, height for the chest and it's a buttoned back. But yes, that is a Lucy's, as I said. I will not be trying it on because it's Lucy's size. So yes, that is the second piece of clothing. There, you will see there's a theme here. Right, accessories again. Um, I bought myself a um, cami crop top, what do you want to call it, bando? I don't even know what to call this. Let's see, um, that's not it. That was the second time I went. This is a halter. No, it isn't. This was cheap. This was like three quid. No, it wasn't. How much was this? This was four pound. This is, it just says SF top. Black, medium to 12. So yes, this is a, um, pleated, I don't even want to call this. Ribbed. This is a ribbed top. It's a crop top slash... I don't even know. It's basically a top. It's a crop top. Let's just call it crop top. But yes, it's a summery top. I just thought, like, around the house would be nice. It does look quite small, but it stretches so big. And it's actually quite comfy. It's like a, comp it's like a compression top, too. So yes, this was £12. This was a medium for four quid. I just thought, when it gets hot around the house, it'd just be nice. Um, so yes, I will try this on because I've also got black cycle shorts as well, which are, that's not them. Where the hell did I put them on? Where did I... oh, come on. Oh, Rachel, where did you put your cycle shorts, mate? Right. Haha. -ha. So yes, I bought myself two pairs of cycle shorts as well, um, because I have somehow donated a pair or binned a pair. But yes, got myself two pairs of black cycle shorts to go over black dresses. These were three pound each in a medium. So I shall wear this together so you get the gist. But yes, I will try this on now. But these are a keep because these are just like essentials. So here's the like, right, the, I don't know what we call this. This is like the right, the racer slash crop top slash rib top. We have cycle shorts. I'm keeping cycle shorts because they're just a necessity. But I'm actually going to return this because I'm not going to wear it. Um, I don't, like, obviously you're supposed to wear it probably with, like, a bando bra, but I don't like wearing bandos. But, yes, yeah, so I'm going to return the top. I thought I was going to keep it, but I decided I'm not going to because I'm just not going to wear this enough to get the wear out of it. But I'm keeping cycle shorts. Cycle shorts are just a necessity. So, yes, that is the cycle shorts with that top. So, yes, that's it. Try it on the black vest and the black um shorts as i said i did buy two pairs of these uh, because they're so cheap where's the second pair oh my god why oh why the second pair is in there somewhere i can't find it so yes they're just their cycle shorts are great like the great absolutely great and so cheap at three quid so yes got two pairs of them as well right i also as i said bought more shoes i bought myself these really cute pink camis um Pink floral camis are really adorable. Pink floral pumps, we're going to call them. Um, they're really cute. I just bought them so that when I'm wearing like my dresses, I no longer have to look gothic with my black boots on. I can wear some pumps with them instead. They're really cute, and these were five pound. They're really five pound for a size five, just to go. Excuse me, with my dresses whilst um whilst summer wear, whilst it's hot, because I have been literally wearing a black dress in the hot heat with black shoes. And I look like a goth and I just want to bring a bit of colour to my life. So I've got these black pumps. They're really, really cute though. Look at the, the I love it when it focuses. The design is adorable. I've had pumps like that before. And I also got myself some flip-flops. These are £1.30. Um, cheap, cheap flip-flops just for holiday. 
Um, I know it's not probably not going until August, but I just was like, I'm gonna get them. So one pound thirty for some floral flip flops. Um, cheapest chips. So yes, got them as well in size five. And then I also got some more shoes, which the sandals I bought last year. Last year's I can't remember what they even looked like. I swear they're like these. These are really cute. Bow sandals. These were. These are actually wide fit as well, which is amazing. Wide fit padded insole. These were nine quid for a size five. So yes, these are going to be great as well for holiday. I just like in the UK when I'm going around in a dress. Um, I just hate showing my feet because I just I hate feet in general. But yes, they're really cute, and I've got these before. I swear last year, but they're just. I like them, they're really adorable and they'll go with the dresses. So I got them as well. I bought two packs of exfoliating gloves. Um, they come with two pairs of gloves as well. Just because I thought these were facial gloves, they're not the body gloves. These are one pound fifty each. I bought one pair, I bought two packs, um, but I gifted a pair because as I said, I thought they were facial gloves and I have been going out of spots, so I bought them, got home to find out they're body gloves. But if you're gentle enough, it should be alright. But yes, exfoliating gloves in pink and white. I gifted a pair to someone. Um, so yeah, they've got, they've got the same skin problem as me, they come down with spots. They do feel weird, but they must be nice when using them as gloves. Let's call it. Oh, I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh, so I've been three times. When did I go on? 2nd of June. Then I went on the 4th of June, and then I went on the 6th. <laughs> Great. Right, now on to some more clothes. This is another of the dress in that exact same kind of colour. Kind of colour, what? This is one of the other designs in, of that dress. This one. Looks amazing on the mannequin. Absolutely drop dead gorgeous on the mannequin. It's this very short maxi mini skater dress. It just comes, it just covers my butt. Um, but yes, it's this gorgeous dress, flowy, but the top isn't straps. It's around the neck one with the boobs. Where you, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to wear this with a bra because it doesn't look right. Um, as you'll probably see in the video. Um, I will not wear this without a bra because my bosoms need support and there is no way that this is going to give me support. So yes, you can actually make it tighter around your cup. Um, but yeah, I just, I liked it on the mannequin, put it on, I was like nah, nah. I said size 12 and it was £18. 18 quid for this. God, right, so yeah, let's try it on. What in the hell is this? Like seriously? It's a no. It's a no. I'm not going to turn around. It's just a... I don't get what they were wanting with this dress. Or how you're supposed to put it on. I swear this is a size 12. But I don't know now because it's like... I'm sorry but... Where's the tag? Where's the tag? It's a size 12. And the... What? The... It's just how do they expect you to fit it if you've got big boobs? Anyway, if it was a dress like the other one that I wanted to get in size 12, and if they don't have a size 12, I'll swap it. If it was like that up here, I'd keep it because it's such a cute dress down here. Perfect length, it's really cute. But this bit's just a no. Like a no, man. No. <sighs> yeah, I tried it on. Um, so yeah, it's really, I just love the bottom, but as I said, the top's just a no. And my camera's now got a temperature warning, which I knew it would because it's a very long video. And yeah, if you're bored by now, get some snacks. Keep watching though. Next dress is this one. These all dresses, all of them dresses. This, <laughs> when I got it, put it on, it reminded me of a funeral dress because it's literally a black dress with a stretchy, pulled in band over it. But it also has straps. But again, the straps are pointless because they don't do much because of how sucked in the chest piece is. But it is a very long black dress. I instantly, I regret buying this. Ugh. This was £16 for a medium. It's just basically a black long dress. Just nah, yucky. Let's try it on though. What I mean by funeral dress. It's like, oh, 
if you're wanting a black themed wedding, a bride bridesmaid, a bridesmaid dress. It's just a no. I don't like it. I just nah. I've had to put the straps in because there's no point of the straps, but they're not unlinkable, so but yes. Nah. So yeah, try it on. Just no, do not recommend. Does it come in pockets? Nope, it doesn't. Why does nothing in women's come in pockets? So yes, that was that one. I got some like at the end, because I put so much in the basket, I actually forgot what I actually bought. This dress is also a no. I feel this dress is like this was eight pound, size twelve. I've got everything in the size twelve or a ten. Depends if there was anything. If there wasn't in a twelve, I'd get a ten. Um, this is literally like a school dress or an interviewee dress. It's it looks cute with the hanger, but it's not. But yeah, it's this, it's coming up actually quite light on the camera, but it's see throughish as well. So it's this U neck. I don't even know what you call that. Um, ditch neck, very very short. It comes way above the knees. Um, weird pattern dress. I don't even call it with pull in sleeves and little bow at the front. I just I don't know how you'd wear this. It's like this checker design. But yeah, it's a no again. Let's try it on. This is just a no no. I feel like this is like an office dress or a school dress. Like just the colour of it and just the just. Where would you wear something like this? I don't like it. It's going back. Flipping neck. Just had to run outside and get the washing in because it's decided to rain again. God, I love Britain. Right. That was the blue outfit. Excuse me. I've not tried it on yet. No, you have. Yeah, that was the blue outfit. Um, I tried it on. My camera died. I've tried it on. So that's that one. Don't like that one. This one is another long one. This is once again a tie around the neck one, just covers your boobs. And it has um, a zip on the back. It was. God. £25 for tw size 12. It's a gorgeous dress like, but just, nah, don't like it. Um, so it's got a zip on the back. Um, and then, this is a complicated bit. You're supposed to thread it like a corset. So your the straps that go in through for your neck actually link in the back and is supposed to go around like a corset. I just, guys, it's gonna be a pain to get on. I've not actually worn it as of the corset yet because I, I had to undo it all to get into it. And then I wanna show mum without her having to help me put it on, as in do the corset a bit. But how in the heck? Does it not, oh, it does have different loops. No, it doesn't. So it isn't a corset then. How did they do it as a corset? Maybe they just tied it together. Yeah, I thought when I when I actually took it out the basket, it was basically corseted up at the back, which is weird because there's no more hoops. But yes, this is like a wedding dress, this, but summer version. But yes, it's a white dress, a very long white dress with this floral weird design um but yeah as i said when i did actually take it off the hanger it was corseted up so i don't know how you're supposed to corset it up when there's no more loopholes oh well let's try this on as i said it's all going back i managed to get this to actually sit properly now if I was going to keep this, I wouldn't wear it with a black bra, for obvious reasons. But, I'm not going to keep it. But yes, I actually managed to get it to fit properly because... <laughs> that This is the dress at the front. Cute. I don't really like it. Why do I look so blooming big in it? I don't know. And I've got a bump, but it's not, I'm not pregnant. It's called, a, it's called food. Oof. I love my food. But yes, I have ended up crisscrossing it in the back. Right, yeah, it doesn't really cover the bra strap, does it? 
but I've had to pull it so to keep it up I've crisscrossed it in the back but I brought it to the front so it actually holds the dress this in place but yeah someone would look some people would look nice in this look how flipping see-through it is man no just no they need to realize that women do not want see-through stuff some women do I don't most people don't but it's no but no some people like this I just don't I look massive in it and I don't know why like I'm loving the chest area but I just look massive anyway so that was a dress tried on hopefully as intended because I am wanting to try them all as intended just so you can get the effect but yes that was that one um some of these would look nice but just no this one is the only one that I like which is this tiered, very orange dress. It's a floral one. This was £10, a size 12. Tiered, orange dress with buttons at the front. Little buttons at the front. Um, and it's, it's gorgeous. This dress is actually quite nice on. Um, but I don't think I'm going to... It is short. That is the only problem with this one. It's short. But it's a really nice design. Tiered dress. It's this... Floral in your face design, it's tiered. Um, no pockets again, nothing has pockets anymore. But yes, as I said, cute dress off the, sh not the shoulder, strappy dress, tiered strappy dress. Um, as I said, 10 quid. So yeah, let's try it on. This is the only one that I like out the actual bag. It's nice, it actually fits nicely, it don't come too far above the knee, it's flowy. And it just, it's nice, it fits so nice. I don't like the tea a bit now though, but it is quite see-through again. But no, I just, I just know what wear it because it's not black. And black don't show sweat as much as any other colour would. But yeah, it is cute. But no, it's going back. I just know what wear it. So that's it tried on. And again, the straps are adjustable, which makes a heck of a lot of difference when it comes to dresses. Because sometimes they're a bit low, sometimes they're a bit high. Next one is another maxi dress. Oh, I don't like this one at all. This one was awful to get into. This reminds me of a hospital gown. You wrap it round you and loop it through like it's a hospital gown, basically. Um, it shows off the chest piece quite nice, but it's a pain to get into. This was 12 quid, size medium. It's this white background with a love hearts, with blue love hearts, and you tie it like a wrap it around you but these thread through so it's a wrap dress so it's unwrapped at the moment and then you wrap it so you put your arms in you wrap one side and it ties but yes you'll see what i mean when i try it on let's try it on i'm sorry i'm rushing but i'll get it filmed whilst mum will win you out because then i don't have the dog back in the background and i also want to get this done so that i can actually what time is it only half 12 flipping heck I was hoping to get this back to Leeds today, but I don't think I'm up time. So I just wanted to get it done so I can get the refund before this weekend. Because this week's busy week. Today I've had work and then I'm filming this. Tomorrow is mum's birthday. We're we'll off to go see If at first time at View um, in the evening. Wednesday I'm at work all day. Thursday I've got a day off but I don't do him. And Friday we're we'll off to go see Inside Out 2 after work. Saturday I've got work. And then Sunday we're off to see Girls Loud. So it's a very busy week. So yeah. This is the hospital gown dress. You know what I mean now? You wrap it through, like there's a hole on the inner section, and you wrap it through, and then you took like, so it opens up, there's a hole on the inner side of this side. You wrap the thread through, and then you wrap it round. So yes, this is just a no. It is amazing for the chest area, but it's too short, it's see-through, and it's just, it's not comfy. It's like, you want to go, oh, I can go tell you can lift it up. Oh, I just realised that. But yeah, it's just, nah. I don't get how they thought this would be a nice dress. Yeah, they could wear the chest area, but it's see-through as heck. And just, no, nah, just, nah, nah. Um, it's a no-no from me, I don't get it. It's short as well. It just really makes me feel like a hospital gown. Yeah. All right, I also got this one, which I actually loved, because... This, there's one of them was on the Primax Instagram and I was like, oh my God, I love that. This one's a cherry dress. 
very see-through, not see-through, very short, it's very short guys, has pulled in sleeves, um, it's a gorgeous design like, I just wish they made it in a bigger dress, but it's so short, it literally comes so high up, size 12, £8, I would not be seen out in this at all, I am, um, this is an instant going back, it literally shows so much off, like, it's just, it just only, I don't think it actually covers my bum, but yeah, let's try it on the way, but you won't see the front, you won't see the back. Once again, once again, too short, see through, and just a no. Yes, that's the cherry one tried on. <laughs> just, uh, some of these dresses are probably made for like little girls that are like 12, 13, but can fit in size, goodness knows what, in the adult section. This one I love, but once again, it's too small. It's too short. This one is this gorgeous locker that looks like a polka dot. This is a black dress with red strawberries on top. It is this absolutely gorgeous design. I love it so much. But once again, it's way too short. This size 10 is eight quid. Didn't have a size 12 and I was determined to buy it. But once again, it's way too short. Would not be seen out in this. One, literally, you just can see too much. But it's coming up flipping amazing on camera. Oh my god. But yes, they're tiny little strawberries. It's not polka dot. They're tiny little strawberries. It looks like a ladybird. But yes, I love this dress. But again, too short. Let's try it on. Here's the strawberry dress. Yep, it's a nope. It's just, it covers perfectly. But it's too short. Don't like it short. Like even the cycle shorts would come longer than this. It's just, nah. Why do you have to make them so short? Like, it just covers my butt. It's a no. My camera's gonna be fed up of me today, pausing, stopping the filming, the recording straight after. But yes, that was that dress. They need to, they need to listen to people's ideas and actually change designs. Right, I got the dress version of Lucy's dress. This is basically the adult version of the kid sized dress. Problem is, this is a size 12 was £20. You can see where I spent 200 quid now, can't you? It's gorgeous though. Absolutely gorgeous. Problem with it is it doesn't cover the chest properly. It is too low. I do not get how it's too low and the straps are not adjustable. It's just, it it doesn't cover. There's not enough, um, it doesn't suck up enough to hold in the actual way this is supposed to be. You don't hold it on, it just slips off. Which is really frustrating. I really like this dress. Knowing as well it's a size 10. It, I can't believe how big it is. But yes, ribbed back again. But gorgeous dress. The adult version of the kid size. Gorgeous dress. Love it. You see, I'd wear this if it had fit properly. But it doesn't. Which I'm gutted about. But yes, there's that dress. Let's try it on. Here's the floral dress. The one that I showed you got for Lucy, this is the women's size. It's a gorgeous dress. If this was in the size 12, it'd probably fit all right. With it being a size 10, it fits perfectly on the body, but my um, chest is a bit too big. So the bra is sticking out, which is unfortunate because this dress is gorgeous. I would go out in this dress. It's so full, nice and airy and it's just gorgeous is the pattern. Like, if I see this in a size 12, I will swap it. Because I did not realise how beautiful this dress is on. Like, I literally just shoved it on and, like, saw my mum's direction. I didn't see what was, like, in front of the mirror. But, yes, this dress, it's so lovely. And just, it's airy, it's flowy, it's summery. But, unfortunately, it is in size 10. So, it doesn't fit properly on my chest, which is really gutting. Because it fits perfectly around the waist. And on the just it fits perfectly in like lengthways as well, but unfortunately, my tatas are a bit too big. But yes, it is going back either for a swap. If there is a size 12 there, I will swap it. If there is not, it is going back for a refund. I just oh my god, it's so nice, and it fits like this. The bra strap at the back does sit out because it's a size 10, but yeah, it's gorgeous. I would wear this in like Yeadon or even in Wales or Leeds, I'd wear this going out because it's such a nice dress and it does, if it was, if I had got the right size, it would sit nice on the chest, but unfortunately it wasn't, it's a size 10, 
But yes, that is a thatch dress. But yeah, gutted, gutted, has to go back because just doesn't fit. We have some more accessories, but I'm going to look at the end. Um, next we have one last piece of clothing, which is another, this one is another corset one. Oh, some of these pieces, I don't even get why I even bought them. Right, this, I love this on the hanger. This is this chilli and pepper, no, chilli and cherry dress. I've seen this on Instagram, this is also on Instagram, and it's a gorgeous dress, absolutely gorgeous. It's got the bra bit, it's tiered, um, but it also has an open back, which you're supposed to somehow tie up. I wish they had like it on a mannequin so you could actually see how you're supposed to tie it up because I don't know how you're supposed to do it. This was £14, size 12. Um, but yeah, you're supposed to tie this up somehow. I'll try to figure out how when I put it on. Um, and it also has a zip down the side. All the way down the side, may I add. It goes all the way down the side of the dress. I just, I just don't get some of these designs at all. But as I said, it's a gorgeous dress. It just doesn't, I think it, it's short as well as this one. It just doesn't, I just don't like the back a bit. It's like it would be nice if it was long. If it was a really nice long dress that covered your yeah, bum, it'd be nice, but it isn't. Um, but yes, that's that dress. Let's try it on with it being the last one. Here is the chilli and cherry dress on. It actually looks all right on camera and it actually does look all right. Um, Cause I've actually done it properly, it is quite nice. But I am pretty damn sure you're supposed to wear this without a bra because um, my whole bra strap is showing. I don't go out like I'm public. So yes, um, this is a dress from the cute, from the cute, from the, oh my god, front it is cute but from the back it's just no. Like if you can wear it, if you can manage to wear it without a bra then great for you, good for you. But I want support and this will just not give me support so without the bra. So yeah, but from the from the front it's really cute, but just from the back it's a nana. But yes, that's the cherry and the pepper dress on. And I have adjusted the strap so that it actually covers the bra at the front, but it just doesn't cover the front at the back. But it's actually it does actually give a nice figure as well. But yes, that is uh, the front. And yes, I admire <laughs> my prosecco corner. <laughs> Nectar keep giving me bonus points to buy bottles of Prosecco, like 150 points here and 100 points there. So I keep buying my bottles, but me and mum have a bottle, we open, we have a glass of wine when, well I have a glass of wine when I'm at work the next day, so we're having a glass of wine tonight and I have a glass of wine on Wednesday night and I have a glass of wine on Saturday night. So there you go, three nights I have a glass of wine, but yes, I have a glass of many bottles. But yes, that is, and the dress, as I said, it is really nice for the figure. It just comes above the knee, but it's just... I just don't get how you're supposed to go out without a bra when it looks like nah, nah, no, just no. But yeah, it's nice though, it's cute. So yes, wash out then, I had a white wash out. Oh, gorgeous dress. Just so nice, but doesn't fit properly. That is all the outfits. I now have a buttload, no pun intended, come on chair. Oh my God. Yeah, I've got a load of accessories down at the bottom of this bag. I'm quite chuffed to get this bag now. I was actually going to, um, and I've also got flipping loads of hangers. And again, I was actually going to um, bin this bag, but I bought this bag when I did a massive haul. And I've kept it since, and this came in so handy when it came to buying all this stuff because I was like, I have a bag. I don't want a cheap not cheap. I don't want a flimsy, tacky paper bag. They are horrendous. I want a massive bag. And it's also got the handbag handles, but it's also got all the shoulder handles. Great. And it's cheap as well. But yes, right, I got some more accessories. I got myself a new hairband um, for putting my face masks on. This is really cute tie-dye mask. It might be in because it's um, Pride Month, but I just love it because it's a really cute multicoloured um, bow headband. It's just so cute. It's just adorable. I love it so much. Um, Cause my Minnie Mouse one is actually a, um, 
it's a wedding headband is that one because i got it cheap but i wanted the new one so i got this one it's really cute really soft only two quid bargain absolute bargain used to hold back your hair when washing or applying beauty products to your face so yes i got that because i wanted a new one i just I didn't even want it i just saw it. i was like i need a new headband so got that for when i put my face masks on because i've got loads of face masks i want to use um second pair of cycle shorts and i also bought myself some fret um i don't even know what you call it rediffusers i got the strawberry shortcake one this one's a quid so i got the rediffusers because i want my bedroom to smell nice cotton which is a quid and then i got two of the peony penny penny i don't know I got two of these which are a pound each as well yeah pound each peony i don't know what they call it um so i got two of them as well and then i got myself a facial cleansing brush which was one pound fifty um just see it just to see if it actually has an effect on my skin because i am coming out quite spotty at the moment and the last item i got were these six reusable ice sticks for bottles of water um which i totally forgot that my bottle the actual hole why just why as i was saying before my camera rudely cut me off i got these reusable ice sticks the six in a pack for two pound from water bottle well i realized the other day that my water bottle hole oh my god that sounds so rude it's just gonna sound so rude um is bigger than the stick so it's just gonna come out of it when i'm drinking it do not do any pun or anything but yes yeah, so i thought Great. That's a jet. That's an RAF jet. But yes, got these. Completely forgot that they're going to be bigger than the water ball hole. And they're flimsy as heck. I don't know if you can actually get a refund on these or not. I don't think you can. I could try it, but I don't think you can. I could, I could try it, can't I? Because my water bottle is a thermal anyway, so it keeps water cold, cold, but... Anyway, we'll see. But yes, that was the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Also, click the notification bell if you want to be notified every time you upload a video. Um, I'm not going to try the outfits on because I've not done that yet. And my camera's, I don't think my camera's realised yet that I've got a load more filming to do of trying them on. But yes guys, thank you very much for watching. I love you all so much. I shall see you all next week by new video. Don't ask who it's going to be yet. I don't know where it is going to be. Um, also, Ace my video is still pending. As I said, I cut my nails, I cut my nails all short a couple of weeks ago. And they are eventually growing out now. But they're not strong enough yet to do tapping. But yes guys, love you all so much. I will do a Q&A as well. But I've just got to figure a day out of that as well. Um, but yes, thank you guys for watching. Love you all so much. See you like, oh my god. Love you all so much. I'll see you all next week at the bunny video. Um, but yeah, enjoy your week. End. And yeah, I don't know what to say. I'll just, oh my god. Have a great week, guys. I'll see you all next Friday at the bunny video. Bye.